Hi guys, welcome back to Hi Ride. Welcome back from Paolo here. We are in lovely Amsterdam. And uh, today we are going to talk about the MotoGP 2020 calendar. So stay tuned. We are having a super great time in uh, Holland these days. Uh, uh, as you can see, you can see on the channel right now, we have been in a beautiful countryside and tomorrow we are going to Sanford, Formula One, completely resurfaced with brand new tarmac circuit. So guys, stay tuned, subscribe like this video and after the jingle let's dive into the MotoGP 2020 calendar thank you hey guys. excellent we are going to start finally the 2020 MotoGP championship and we are super big fan of MotoGP. We have been a big fan, I've been a big fan since uh, the early 80s. And well, the wonderful era of Kevin Schwantz, Mick Doohan, and um, yeah, uh, you name it, all the great American riders and Australian riders, Mick Doohan. So now we are going to present finally the 2020 calendar. Okay they have confirmed the date of 19th of july so guys please book it in your calendar we're gonna have the first race of the year and of course we're gonna review it and hopefully it's gonna be a great race so high challenging battles in between marquez and the viciosos but before we go into the actual calendar so that you guys know exactly all the dates all the appointments let's have a little bit of a recap around what happened during all this Corona crisis. So the first crazy thing is that Mark Marquez has signed on for four years. And the other crazy thing is that his brother has not even done one race in MotoGP and they already demoted him to, well, we don't even know if he's gonna go on the LCR uh, machine in place of um, Carl Crutchlow. Uh, or maybe it's gonna go to Ducati and uh, so this is already a crazy bomb we're gonna see how it's gonna pan out uh, hopefully Marquez, Alex Marquez is gonna do well and uh, hopefully he's gonna get a nice seat but uh, crazy enough four years to one brother zero to the other brother we don't know where Carl Crutchlow is gonna go so the market is gonna completely crazy this year and uh, maybe it's due to the corona maybe it was already planned we don't know but uh, certainly very unusual from that point of view then another crazy story is uh, Petrucci okay you could say we kind of knew that Danilo Petrucci would have gone to away from Ducati because they really want to have you know some other new rider and they signed on Jack Miller but who would have thought that Petrucci would have gone from the factory Ducati machine a potentially winning championship or at least winning uh, races like he demonstrated last year in Mugello now he is going to end up in the Tech 3 in uh, the team of Hervé Poncharal he's a great team all the teams are great maybe Avincia is a bit low our figure but all the teams are great in MotoGP, all the riders are fantastic, skilled riders. But who would have thought that he would have ended up on, uh, on uh, basically, you know, the privateer type of machine, satellite machine of KTM? Certainly, I would have not thought about that. And then Dovizioso, he has been three years in a row, the runner-up. So he has been uh, the best of the rest after Marc Marquez, who is probably, you know, the god of motorcycles, at least in this uh, moment in time. Uh, and then he still does not have a seat. Maybe he's going to race next year. Maybe he's going to stop. Come on, Dovizioso, please do it for us. We are big fan. I'm a big fan of Ducati. I have plenty of them. You have seen on the channel. And, and I'm a big fan of Ducati winning, especially with an Italian rider. So please, Dovizioso, stay. You know, accept four millions, three millions. Come on, this is big money. You're gonna have plenty for the rest of your life. But on a Ducati machine, you can win the championship. If you go to Aprilia, okay, the best you can do is what? Maybe fifth? If you're really, really good that, you know, I, God knows how many riders are gonna fall, you're gonna end up in the podium. So please do us a favor, do yourself a favor and go for 
a championship that you're gonna have absolutely fun and uh, go stay on that bike because we really love to see you there. Now, the other bomb is that Valentino Rossi, the other god, or at least the god of the early 2000s era of motorcycle, MotoGP, he still is not signed on for Petronas, but we know that it's gonna happen. Rossi still wants to race. He is a racer in the heart, in the skin, inside out. So the guy is gonna stay there, maybe until he is 46 years old. We would love to see that and maybe win the 10th title or the 12th title, God knows, you know, when he is 46. So that would be a great story to tell. That would be a great story to watch. And that's what we do. We watch MotoGP and we love all the excitement that comes from that. So guys, now, without further ado, Please pardon me, but I'm gonna have to check my phone with the actual dates so that I'm not gonna miss any detailed information. So now, this year is gonna be a different championship, of course, with less races. Okay, they're gonna attempt to do as many races as in uh, as it was planned, 19, 20 races, but they will probably do 14, which is still quite good results if, if they really achieve that. Of course, the corona, nobody really knows where this corona is gonna end up. Uh, well, we do hope that things will go better from here, everywhere in the world, uh, health-wise, for all the people that have been affected so far and they are still infected. But uh, uh, we also hope that all the big events, organizations and MotoGP, they're gonna go ahead. We do know that uh, uh, World Superbike is gonna go ahead, the Italian Championship is gonna go ahead. We're gonna do uh, reviews of the ra those races and uh, hopefully we're gonna bring a lot of excitement to the channel, thanks to these races. Now, without further ado, as I said before, on the 19th of July, we're gonna have the first race in Jerez, and Jerez, one week later, is gonna have the second race. So this year, we're gonna see this kind of trend where uh, one circuit, one race is gonna actually end up having uh, uh, multiple races, well, two, so like Jerez. So 19th of July, 26th of July, one week later, we're gonna have the second race. The third race is gonna be in Czech Republic, in Brno, and it's gonna be on the 9th of August. We're gonna have three events in August, so one on the 9th in Czech Republic, then on the 16th in Austria, and then a double in Austria too, uh, is gonna be on the 23rd of August. Then we're gonna jump to September, and in September, we're gonna have an event in San Marino, Misano, uh, and um, it's gonna be on the 13th, and then one week later, we're gonna have, well, sorry, a couple of weeks later, no, sorry, one week later, on the 20th, we're gonna have the double in Misano, then we go to Catalonia on the 27th, uh, on the 11th of October will be in France, in October will be also in Aragon, a double in Aragon on the 25th, so 18th, 25th, and then we're gonna end up in Valencia with a double, 8th of November and 16th of November, 15th of November, sorry about that. Now guys, uh, I will put the slide with the calendar with the dates, so if you guys missed any of these or you want to double check or focus on some of these months, uh, you can uh, clearly see the calendar. I brought to you a bit of market information, exciting information, what is gonna happen this year and next year. So there will be maybe some bonus in the Americas, Argentina, Thailand, Malaysia. These guys basically they said, if we are allowed to bring in spectacles, uh, spectators, then of course we uh, shall have the, the race, otherwise we are not gonna race closed door, it's way too expensive. So fingers crossed, we're gonna enjoy at least all these doubles, it's gonna give a lot of opportunities to riders who did not do so well uh, to you know catch up. But on the other hand, because of all these doubles and because all these races one next to the other, one week apart, of course crashes can uh, you know affect uh, of course the whole championship. Nevertheless, it's gonna be a great championship, it's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be absolutely unique. So whoever is gonna win this is not gonna be a, a second division champion, it's gonna be a real one because it's gonna take a lot of concentration, guts, and uh, an inspiration to win this one. And uh, uh, we all bet on Dovi. Well, I do bet on Dovi, and I really you know, put all my hands down to him to do a great championship so that we bring a lot of excitement to Ducati and Italy. So thank you guys, thanks for watching. It was great to be here. It was gonna be super fun to be in the circuit tomorrow in Sanford, I'll bring you all the footage, and uh, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, bye guys.